Morning. <sighs> I slept with my pajama top back to front last night and it honestly looks kind of cute. I start every single morning with two of these bad boys on an empty stomach. I do not feel like myself and I do not have these hoops in. Today's the day I get my phone back. I don't even know if I've told you on YouTube because <laughs> it has been a journey. I don't know did I tell you my iPhone 13 like all the back was smashed at Christmas. It had to get sent back to Apple to get fixed and apparently I'm gonna have it back today. Bottoms up, bottoms up. Let me see you come. I think we're doing a morning routine. <laughs> I don't even have a routine in my mornings. I'm not even gonna lie. Just my morning routine is like slow. Why am I so tired? Breakfast this morning, we're doing something that I've literally had every single morning this week. I just find that having the same... <sighs> Why does my family test me? Someone in my household, when they go to clean the air fryer, but they basically are like, oh, I'll fill it up with water and I'll leave it soak. They don't complete the task. So then the next person to go get the air fryer has to do it. So it's like making two jobs. One job for two people, do you know what I mean? We got a new air fryer, right? We got the Ninja, the big one. Benefits of living at home when you're 28. Not for much longer. If you didn't see my last video, then you don't know what I'm talking about. I'm having fake medallions. These ones are my fave. I'm having two eggs. These ones are my fave. And then I'm having an English muffin. This is supposed to mimic a McDonald's breakfast. It is nothing of the sort. It is not a McDonald's breakfast at all, at all, at all. The other day when I was at the gym, something possessed me to do not only this new leg glute workout that I found on TikTok by this girl with the most amazing ass that I'd ever seen in her life. My life, not her life, my life. Not only did I do that, but I also did the Stairmaster for the first time in definitely over a year. And when I tell you my legs are so sore, but I mean, that's a good thing. And that's what we're going for, kind of. I think one of my main issues is the egg. <laughs> because of the pan that I cook the egg in, the egg is like a lot bigger than the Mick. This is a Mick nothing, okay? It's just an English McMuffin with bacon and eggs. It's still good though. It still slaps, I'm not gonna lie. I keep saying like, why am I so tired? Obviously my period's coming. Do you know what's also really exciting about today? It's the 1st of February, Woo! It is a new month. February's gonna be an exciting month for me because I'm gonna have to, ow! February's about to be an exciting month for me because I'm gonna have to book some flights this month. We're gonna have to catch flights in our feelings. It's so gum. I really hope that the guy who has my phone is gonna text me soon because I'm the type of person that I will wait all day until I get that text and I kind of want to get stuff done today. Okay, stick with me on this one. I've been thinking about it for a while and I really don't want to do this, but I think I'm just going to have to start uploading shorts. YouTube shorts, that is. I feel like if you are an avid YouTube watcher, you also get annoyed by the shorts in your subscription box. Some people aren't avid YouTube watchers. It actually confuses me every time. Sorry, we got the ice cold monster out of the freezer, by the way. Look at her. She is beautiful. She is stunning. She is gorgeous. She is everything. But before we have that, I'm just having my hair and energy vitamins from JS Health because we are trying to get our hair to grow down to our ass. But yeah, it really confuses me that some people don't use YouTube properly. Like, <laughs> Like some of you just be like clicking on videos. You don't even have an account. You just watch video. Like say, for example, if Molly Mae puts up a video, you like click it and watch it, but you don't subscribe to her. You don't like the video. You don't comment. I think people get confused still by what a YouTube account is. It's literally just a Gmail email address. So if you have a Gmail email address, which I'm assuming most of you do, I don't know who uses Hotmail or like Microsoft Outlook. Sorry, I'm judging you if you do. I'm a Gmail girly, I'm a YouTube girly. But yeah, all you need is a Gmail account. If you have a Gmail email, then all you have to do is use that and your password to sign into YouTube. 
and then you just click it's the best thing ever because you just click subscribe on your favorite accounts and then you have a subscriptions area where you can see all the videos that were recently uploaded it's amazing I love my subscriptions box and I frequently go through it and I'm like okay I don't really watch that person anymore and I do unsubscribe because why would I be a dead subscriber do you know what I mean but yeah I really don't want to start uploading loads of shorts but I know it's from February 1st which is today that YouTube is like YouTube's putting like a lot of money into shorts and they want creators to be using shorts and I don't really want to use shorts because I have TikTok but I also don't want to use reels and I post them do you know what I mean so I feel like I'm just gonna bite the bullet and post like get ready with me shorts because I post them on TikTok and Instagram anyway so if you do see one of my shorts just go and watch because it will help YouTube's algorithm will be like oh my god this girl is posting shorts frequently let's show her to more people and I've been doing this YouTube thing for years and I have been on the 7,000 subscriber mark it's the perfect temperature it's the perfect temperature I'm about 180 subscribers away from 8,000 I'm so close <laughs> And it was May 2021, because I remember, because I was in Dubai. It was May 2021 when I hit 7,000. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be posting shorts from now on. I hate to say it, but just stick with me and like the shorts. I don't watch shorts. I'm going to be honest, I don't watch shorts. I will rarely click a short, but some people do, allegedly. And if some people watch shorts, we got to give the people shorts. And my name is Rebecca Short, so it's kind of funny. Ben's awake. You haven't seen Ben since Marbella. Morning! Ben said, no one has that type of smile on their face in the morning. Ben thinks I'm insane. I have the best news in the world. First things first, I just got my face threaded. All the hairs are gone. Thank the Lord. I swear to God, they're so blonde. Like the girl doing my hair was like, or my face was like, you're so lucky. They're so blonde. And I was like, I know. Uh, but there were so many. And I got my phone back. Oh, it feels so good. It feels so good to have this phone back. Like, honestly, I feel like, oh. It was, it was a tough week and a bit. Literally since last Monday, I've been using an iPhone 8 and I use the word using lightly. I didn't have, I had 109 WhatsApp notifications. I haven't gone into any of them yet. Will I go into them? Who knows? I'm so happy. I was gonna go to the gym now after getting my face threaded, but I'm like, is that a good idea to sweat? I don't know. My phone to me is the source of, so I don't know why I'm getting like deep about my phone right now. And it just, it gives me so much joy, like having my podcasts and I'm just happy to have her back. And I'm happy because it was honestly very inspirational to me. Like the amount of times I just wanted to pick up my phone the last week and like make a TikTok or like, thought of a reel or thought of an idea and I couldn't do it because the iPhone 8 front camera is trash and I would have to use the back camera and like you, it was just a whole ordeal. So I'm very excited to make shit tons of TikToks and reels and YouTube shorts. So prepare to be sick of me. But besties, you're gonna be so proud of me. Guess what I did? I just did a bedroom refresh. So it didn't have to be a whole YouTube video of me cleaning my room because I've really maintained my room being like clean and organized since doing that like deep, deep clean video. Everything's just has a place. It's clean, it's organized. So I don't know, I'm really happy for, with myself. Also, I'm very excited for the month of February. I just have the best feeling. Also, I got my face started today. So she has no hairs. So I'm very excited to do my makeup tomorrow. Do you know what? I do have some news. I'm bringing my podcast back for another season, which is very exciting. So the new season of my podcast will be dropping. I don't know what day to put it out on. I don't know 
is there a good day to put a podcast out on? Like, should I put a podcast out on a Monday morning? Does anyone really care once it's like the same day every week? But I am revamping my podcast. I would love to do a situation where every second episode is an interview or like having a guest on, but I have the ick when it comes to Zoom podcasts. I just don't enjoy them. I feel like the audio is never 100% on them and I would just prefer not to do Zoom guests. So I don't know how I'm gonna navigate that. Maybe I'll just do solos until then. But if you've never listened to my podcast, it's called The Hot Girl Guide. It's on Spotify, it's on Apple, and there will be a new season starting next week. So if you wanna catch up before then, I've been very sporadic with my podcast uploads, but now that I'm like, ever since doing Vlogmas, it's like changed the whole narrative about how I think about myself and like what I can do content wise. And I feel like uploading a video every single day of December just really it makes everything seem easy now so I've got the YouTube consistency down and I'm proud of myself for that so now I feel like it's time to get back podcasting so I hope you enjoyed this video it's very weird and wacky and wonderful mm -hmm.